12 miles off the Carolina coast, researchers are tracking great white sharks. One big mature animal would be a home run. Chris Fisher's O-Search has been studying these sharks off the East Coast for the last decade. We're seeing an ocean that's teeming with life like we haven't seen since the 40s or 50s. And he says it's led to an increase in the number of white sharks. CBS News was there when O-Search tagged its first one in 2012. They've now studied more than 90, tracking their migration patterns online. We know almost everything except for proving where they mate. So this location is the key area. Yes, we believe that mating is likely going on somewhere in this region about now. With bait in the water, the sharks emerge. At this point, we are literally surrounded by sharks. 13 footish, best guess is female. Oh! They're working like a NASCAR pit crew out here, fast, trying to get these satellite tags installed. They draw blood samples and perform an ultrasound all while the shark is awake. Oh my gosh. I mean, I've never been this close to such a massive animal before. Seawater's pumped through her gills to keep her breathing. Can I touch one of her teeth? Yeah. yeah. Within minutes, samples are collected for 24 different scientific studies, including one testing hormone levels to see if she's mating. We'll estimate the weight based on a formula. Chief scientist Dr. Bob Huter says a healthy shark population is better for the entire planet. As we bring them back, then we set the, the ocean back, you know, into balance and, and reset the system so that we have the best health for not only for the sharks, but for ourselves. And now that there are more of these predators swimming among us, we actually need to retrain ourselves on how to play and enjoy a more wild, abundant ocean. Look at the ocean before you walk into it. You don't want to walk into a bait ball with birds diving on it and game fish on it because sharks are going to be on it. I mean, certainly if you saw a mountain lion putting a stalk on a herd of elk, you wouldn't walk out into the middle of the elk herd. So we need to approach the water the same way we approach the land. Woo! For Ion America, I'm Carter Evans off the Outer Banks of North Carolina.